Episode 5, Recipes. In this episode, we'll be working on creating recipes for our items. And the first thing we're going to do is go over to our Package Explorer. And under our resources, we're going to create ourselves a new package. And it's going to be data.modid.recipes. And we'll create a new file with our block name dot JSON. So tutorial underscore block dot JSON for me. Now we've just opened up the Minecraft default assets and I'm looking for the iron block. And we'll copy that and paste it into our tutorial block.json. Now we'll grab the reference name for the tutorial ingot, so tutorial underscore ingot. And we'll do the mod ID colon tutorial ingot. <clears throat> and the result will be mod ID colon tutorial block. And we'll create a new file. And this is going to be for the tutorial ingot. And there, I just forgot to put .json, but I will be doing that shortly. And there, I just pressed F2 to rename the file. And we'll grab in a iron nugget. And this will be a shapeless recipe. It would be of type Minecraft Crafting Shapeless. And the ingredient will be the tutorial block. And the result will be nine tutorial ingots. The count there is how many it will give back. If you only wanted to give it back one, you could put one. And here we're creating the uh, furnace recipes. So for the blast furnace and the smeltery. And again, we'll go into the default assets and grab the Minecraft ingot. And here we have the experience which is how much it will give back in experience points, not level. And then the cooking time. The default Minecraft cooking time is 200 for a regular furnace and 100 for blast and smoker. And we'll put the result as the ingot. And the ingredient will make a temporary item called a tutorial ore. I was planning on doing the Minecraft dirt, but I figured doing it in a real world example would be easier to understand. And here we are creating the tutorial or by just putting a comma at the end and doing tutorial or and the rest the same as the tutorial block. And in the next episode, we'll work on actually doing or spawn or generation.
And now we're going to create our blast furnace variant by just copying and pasting the furnace one and calling it blast. And then put blasting as the type. And don't forget to set the cooking time to 100. And if you wanted to have it as a smoker, you could put smoking as the type. Smelting is for a regular furnace, blasting is for a blast furnace, and smoking is for a smoker. And then I just clicked on the base and pressed F5 to refresh. And here I'm just going to run the project by either going to your Gradle tasks, which can take a while, or if you've ran it previously, going up to the run button and clicking run Gradle task. And here I'm just fast forwarding through the project and we'll zoom in on the window so it'd be easier to see. And all right, so you see there, you can put one tutorial block in and get nine tutorial ingots out. And there's our tutorial or doesn't have a texture or anything, but we'll put that in again in the next episode. It's just uh, as a stand in. So as you can see there, you put it in and you get one tutorial ingot out. And I did not show it here, but when you pull it out, you should be able to get some XP, but I was in creative mode, so it would not. And thanks for watching, and again, in the next episode, we'll be working on ore generation. Have a good night.